it right. Uh, oh, it's not yet, buddy. I told you I was on my right, man. So this was my first race of 2022. It was an exhibition race um, from a different uh, race uh, league that I don't typically ride. Um, so I thought it would be a good tune-up to get myself ready for the race season, which starts in April. Uh, there are two races. This was the first of the two that I was going to do prior to uh, the Mid-Atlantic Race Series here in the Northeast. Um, the race started off, um, I was feeling very confident, but as soon as we started, it all went out the window. I was tentative at the start. I didn't put, all, put out a lot of power. Um, I was getting passed up a lot right. My confidence was leaking and I started the race near the back of the pack. Um, my biggest weakness is flats and also grass starts. I started racing uh, cyclocross this past race season in the fall and training for cyclocross thinking that it would help with that and it would transfer into mountain biking and it absolutely did not. Um, so I guess I'm just going to accept that that is a weakness of mine and still work on it. Um, but I, you know, hopefully I can uh, keep the confidence up and uh, continue to move forward um, in this race season. There was a lot of drama early on. Um, I passed a, uh, a guy, um, you know, I shouted that I was on the right. Um, I even went off the course uh, to pass him. He didn't give me any room. Um, I guess he felt that it was uh, too, too close, even though I was off the course and he yelled at me. Um, and I replied, you know, hey, <laughs> I told you I was on the right. I don't know what more you want from me. Um, and then he proceeded to try to run me off the bridge, as you can see right here. Um, I didn't have the reaction that he had t towards him, that he had towards me. Um, I, I think he was trying to show me that, you know, you know, you did this to me, so I'm going to do it to you. Um, how do you like that now? Which, at the time, I was like, okay, this guy's racing hard. I had no reaction. It, I, you know, um, I started thinking about it, and then after I watched the uh, the footage, I was like, wait a minute, this guy tried to run me off a bridge. Um. So, you know, racing's racing. Um, you know, we did bump elbows and shoulders a little bit and I, you know, but as I said, I was on the right, told him I was on the right, announced it, went off the course to give him a little bit of room and he still had a little bit of problems with it. You know, he, in the end, destroyed me. I did terribly. He passed me, didn't see him again. He whoop, gone. Um, and I kind of just settled in, um, you know. I, I always said the first 10 minutes of the race is the most important and then everybody settles in and you run your own race. My first 10 minutes was awful. I, bad start, didn't have the power output that I was hoping for. I 
ran aggressive because I knew I wasn't putting out the power, thinking that positioning would get me where, um, you know, where I wanted to be. And I pissed off another rider, um, riding aggressively in the first 10 minutes of the race. basically settled in and just rode my own race um and there were a lot of other groups um that were riding while my cat 2 group was riding and they just constantly kept coming i was riding so bad embarrassingly bad um and they just kept coming and kept coming and, you know, so because I am in the back of the pack, you know, you have to give right away to them. And it was, you know, just pull off the course. So, you know, then your time there of stopping takes five seconds to pull over and let the person go. And then it takes another five seconds to get back, you know, into the groove or 10 seconds that you're losing constantly. And when you're a minute or two behind the person that was in front of you and you're having to give right of way to the guys that are coming from behind, you tend to lose a minute, two minutes, three minutes. Um, you know, so when you're in that position, there's a lot of talking to yourself. There's a lot of, hey, you know, just keep it going, keep it going. You know, I, I often sing songs to myself just to get into a groove or get into, you know, a mind state uh, of, you know, just finishing. Um, you know, I knew top 10 was out. Um, and the time that I ran would have gotten me top 10 in 2021. That's the most frustrating part. Um, I was shooting for a top 10 and the time I rode would have gotten me a top 10 if it were last year. Um, super frustrating. Um, I, I felt good, but I did not have that extra gear to get moving forward.
This course had one short steep downhill and one medium length steep downhill. I could not make up any time. I will tell you right now, if there is elevation involved, I am able to make up time, um, whether it be downhill or uphill. This was straight flat. I don't know why, I just cannot get power output in the flats. I, and if you Google it, like look on, on YouTube, look on Google, there is nowhere where it says, hey, this is how you get faster on the flats. Um, and I just don't know what to do, to be honest. Um, I, I thought that I trained really well over the winter. I mean, it is March. Um, maybe I'll, you know, I'm stuck at a plateau and I'm able to take it to the next level by April or the end of April. But I honestly, I don't know, um, what more training I could have done to try to help with my flats and my power. Um, you know, I've got the power output and acceleration going up and I've got the technical skills going down. Um, I just don't know, don't know what to do. Uh, there were some sections where there was a really, there was one section where there was an uphill. There was one uphill and it was extremely steep, loose, and sandy. Um, both trips on the two laps, I got, I was on someone's wheel and there's nowhere to pass. So I was on their wheel the whole time. They were able to slow and kind of do a technical section but I was behind them right on them both times and had to stop and push. Um, but then as I was pushed, I was behind them. As we went over the technic, over the, the summit and got down to the down short or the medium downhill, I was able to kind of make up some time. But when they're there, 50 feet, 60 feet, there's only so much time you can make up.
Thank you. Um, so I, you know, it, it, this, the showing was embarrassing, but that's why I'm putting this on here. It's, it's embarrassing how poorly I did, but I'm not going to hide it. I'm going to eat it. And hopefully the next event here in New Jersey, I'll, you know, I'll do a little bit better. I mean, always shooting for a top 10. Um, thanks for watching my video.